is magical what is currently happening in the natural sciences. For years, there was hardly any exciting news from astronomy, and now one fascinating discovery follows the next. The James Webb Telescope has now found evidence of remnants of the early universe that accelerated the expansion. This could finally answer one of the most fundamental questions in cosmology, why the universe is expanding and what is driving this expansion. Dr. John Mather announced at a press conference that the James Webb Telescope has discovered something that points to a different origin and development of the universe. The American astrophysicist and Nobel Prize winner Dr. John Mather is the scientific director of the entire James Webb mission. This discovery has puzzled scientists and is being interpreted as evidence of an earlier universe that is quite different from what we have previously assumed. This discovery once again completely challenges our current understanding of physics and cosmology. It suggests that there were phenomena in the early universe that are not consistent with existing theories. The uniqueness of these new findings lies in the fact that we now have facts from the very early universe for the first time, and, thanks to James Webb, we are looking into a time that was previously hidden from our eyes. Very old, Fully formed galaxies and supermassive black holes at the dawn of time tell us that we have not allowed enough time after the Big Bang for very large galaxies and supermassive black holes to appear. Scientists have placed this time in a range of 1 to 3 billion years after the Big Bang, but James Webb shows us galaxies that shone beautifully and perfectly in space just 300 million years after the Big Bang. Some discoveries are suspected of being very old and ultramassive black holes. They too existed as true cosmic monsters just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These discoveries have sparked a heated debate among astronomers, particularly with regard to the existence and properties of galaxies that formed shortly after the Big Bang. According to the prevailing thinking in cosmology, we should not see these galaxies at an early stage in the history of the universe. However, science has been aware of certain problems with the Big Bang, and not just since these discoveries. For example, it has not yet been possible to explain why the universe is still expanding today. So far, dark matter and dark energy have been used as explanations, but neither element has been proven. They are considered invisible and not visible to our physical measurement methods. James Webb's discoveries could now help to clear up all the discrepancies that have existed up to now and finally provide us with the formula we need to describe the entire cosmos. So will all the fuss pay off after all? Why is the universe expanding? It sounds crazy, but scientists believe that even 13.8 billion years after the Big Bang, our universe is still somehow driven by this force. How else can the expansion be explained? Scientists understand the expansion of space to mean the drifting apart of space and everything in it. You can imagine the Big Bang in such a way that it was not this one point that exploded into a space, but the explosion formed the space itself, just like blowing up a balloon. The Big Bang is therefore not somewhere in the distant past, but is right around us and we are part of it. The stupid thing about these theories is that scientists simply don't know what force is capable of creating everything we know as space from a single dot and then driving it on for billions of years. And what's really crazy is that this expansion is even increasing. Researchers suspect that previously unknown forces and dark matter are responsible for this expansion. Dark energy is the most widely accepted explanation for the accelerated expansion of space. Dark energy is a hypothetical form of energy that is evenly distributed in space and probably has a repulsive effect that counteracts gravity. The expansion can be explained, at least in part, by how these two forces interact, at least in theory. Remember, the existence of dark energy has not been proven, and how do we describe something we don't know exists? Some theories suggest that gravity might work quite differently on cosmic scales than Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity predicts. These adjustments could explain how accelerated expansion occurs regionally, because the universe probably does not show an increased rate of expansion anywhere. It could be that it's expanding at completely different rates in different regions, which also presents scientists with a puzzle. Another approach to explaining the accelerated expansion is the cosmological constant, which Einstein already described in his equations of the general theory of relativity. 
The cosmological constant could act as a kind of anti-gravity force that drives the expansion of the universe. The quintessence is where things get really exciting. This hypothetical form of dark energy is in a dynamic and time-varying state. In contrast to the cosmological constant, which has a constant density, the density of quintessence could vary over time. Some theories even propose that there are many more unknown forms of matter or energy that are fundamentally different from anything previously known. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes into play again with its impossible discoveries. Scientists who have so far tried to explain everything with conventional theories and quantities have now reached the end of their explanations. It simply cannot go any further, and we will experience an opening up of science and a revolution in the cosmological worldview. Are the multiverse and extra dimensions real? Imagine that we do not live in a closed universe that has a beginning and an end. Perhaps the universe we see is just one of many, and there are interactions with other universes and dimensions. So far, conservative science has never succeeded in explaining the entire universe with the help of Einstein's equations and Newton's physics. Both only work in the world of large-scale phenomena, gravity, the movements of stars and planets, and just about when it comes to explaining the dynamics of galaxies and their movements through space. Quantum physics, on the other hand, describes the space of the smallest particles in the subatomic dimensions. Until now, neither part of our physical reality was compatible with a formula or an explanatory approach. It was rather the case that both worlds contradicted each other in a fascinating way. But how can this be if everything big that we see consists of small particles? So far, only string theory has been able to describe the universe in its entirety, but it has a small catch that conservative scientists have vehemently rejected. The idea of vibrating strings only works if we allow for the idea of extra dimensions. Crazily enough, interactions between additional dimensions or other universes could also explain the observed expansion and its acceleration. James Webb may be showing us the very objects that will finally close these gaps in all the theories. James Webb is changing astronomy, astrophysics, and cosmology. If you've been studying this exciting subject for a while, you've probably come across different terms such as astronomy, astrophysics, and cosmology. You might wonder whether they're all somehow the same thing, but they're not. Let's take a look at what these three fields of space research do and what they each have to do with the new James Webb discoveries. This much is already certain. None of these three research groups remained unaffected by James Webb's incredible discoveries in the young universe. All of them are now being forced to rethink their approach, and the current generation of researchers may be experiencing an upheaval that has not been seen for centuries. Astronomers, astrophysicists, and cosmologists work closely together, yet we are dealing with completely different disciplines. Each of these fields has a specific focus and its own unique approach to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Astronomy is one of the oldest sciences and deals with the observation and understanding of celestial bodies and phenomena outside the Earth's atmosphere. These include stars, planets, comets, galaxies, asteroids, and phenomena such as supernovae and cosmic radiation. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, the first intelligent people probably looked up at the sky and wondered what was up there and where the light came from. The star observatories of the Stone Age are famous and show that the sky has always fascinated us humans. The first astronomers used only their eyes, then came telescopes, and today we have an incredible space telescope like James Webb to survey millions of light years. So astronomers observe, describe what they see, make connections, and analyze data they collect during their observations. Astrophysicists are also astronomers, but they focus more on the physical understanding of the universe. They are concerned with the physical properties and fundamental laws that explain the behavior of celestial bodies and cosmic phenomena. This profession has been in a real pickle since James Webb's discoveries, because most of the theories that astrophysicists have put forward over the last 100 years are now proving to be flawed. The laws of physics that have long worked to describe the observations of astronomy are now no longer sufficient. 
In order to explain phenomena such as the early existence of galaxies and ultra-massive black holes, we will very likely now have to extend our old astrophysics. This can be exciting, but conservative scientists in particular are not so happy about it at the moment. Cosmologists are not so interested in individual forces and observations, although they are part of cosmology. This science deals with the universe as a whole. It explores the origins, history, structure, and future of the universe. So it's having a real heyday at the moment. At last, cosmologists can look so far back that they can see as far as a few million years after the Big Bang. It's possible that the James Webb Telescope will allow us to look even further back in the course of its operating life. The range is given as 13.5 billion years. However, scientists may be able to get a little more out of it over time, and we may finally be able to find answers to questions such as whether the Dark Ages really existed, and when the first stars really appeared in space. At present, we can see finished galaxies that look very old and structured where only the first star clusters should actually be visible. We have yet to see anything of the supposedly very first protostars, which are said to have been huge and extremely luminous. So, cosmology is truly at a new dawn. Press the subscribe button now. The best videos are yet to come.